Yo, Elliot. Hey, so our friend Nuno wants to increase the size of his rib cage, basically the volume of his rib cage. So if you look at him from the side, what he's saying is he looks kind of flat and he's bulking now, so his belly's starting to come out. He's like, oh shit, this is no good. My belly's coming out bigger than my chest. This looks bad, this is not a good situation. What can I do to expand my rib cage this way? Very interesting question and I'm happy to have some ideas for you. So I, right now I'm reading a lot of old school bodybuilding books, stuff from Arthur Saxon and um, Arthur Saxon and um, Eugene Sando. Right? These are old school bodybuilders, like from like the late 1800s, early 1900s. These books are awesome. I like them because they really go back to the roots of bodybuilding and what it meant to be a bodybuilder a hundred years ago and it's very different than what bodybuilding is like today. So one of the things that I noticed about these athletes from over a hundred years ago that had awesome bodies but also their strength was immaculate. The strength was so over the top with regard to many of the so-called bodybuilders today. One of the things that I noticed is that they none of them had very built up pecs and in fact they did very little horizontal pressing. Most of the pressing they did was overhead and then most of the exercises that they did were pulling. They were designed to pull the, pull the shoulder blades back. And not only that, they proudly displayed the fact that the front of their bodies are very open and pliable. As opposed to the bodybuilders of today where it's close this down and show the, the pec development. A hundred years ago, the bodybuilders did this, and if you look at a lot of like the old school pictures, you know, I'll kind of try to pretend to do it right now. They did a lot of this, right? This is where they were, they were here, right? And this opened right up, and it was always about drawing the shoulder blades down and together, right? The strength of the back superseded and opened the chest. I have not found a picture yet where they're doing this. Right? The reason why I bring that to your attention is because the muscles of the front of the body are designed to be more supple and soft. This is just the way we're designed as human beings. If you want to win a bodybuilding contest, don't do what I'm saying. But the suppleness of the front part of the body, which is where the respiratory wave is, when we breathe, right? When we breathe, where do you wave? Mostly in the front. It's all soft here as opposed to the back. The softness of the front part of the body that allows the respiratory wave would be enhanced by the strengthening of the back of the body and the opening up and softening of the front part of the body. As the respiratory wave opens, your lung capacity might improve. Or in other words, the muscles of your rib cage will become more pliable, soft, flexible, and open up to increase your ability to produce that, uh, that uh, wave, that respiratory wave. One of the exercises that was very popular back in the day was over, they called them pullovers, where you would lay on, on a bench, you'd take a dumbbell, you'd open up the front of your body and then bring it back up. The magnificence, the magic in that exercise is in your ability to really open up the rib cage, open up the front of your body create more flexibility throughout the respiratory wave. And then what they would do is they'd go and pose like somebody who just did an overhead uh, a, a, a stretch over, whatever the hell called, the pullover, right? So my invitation to you, Nuno Miguel, is to work on developing the the postural muscles of the back, like I'm always talking about it, you know, your, the scapula adductors, the muscles that force good posture. But, for example, take a break from, sh from strengthening the pecs, from doing a lot of this, a lot of this, a lot of this, and instead work to open up the rib cage with the pullover exercise. I'm not saying it's going to work for sure, but like I said, I'm, I'm looking at athletes who displayed their ability to open up their chest and this is the way they trained. So um, I think it's pretty damn cool. 
I would give it a try. I hope that works for you. Yo, Elliot. 